Nelson Mandela once said, I never lose, I either win or learn. And our guest has done both in his long, prolific career. Welcome to Bate Ankahi with Amar Upadhyay. Thank you. Thank you for having me on the show. Thank, Thank you so for much. doing this with us. It means a lot. Pleasure. You know, before we start talking and before we start getting into your journey, I have a small surprise for you. Uh, There is someone who sent an audio note for you. And oh, I wow. want you to guess here and I want to see how, how do you react to it. Oh, wow. Let's do it. Yes, yes. Immediately. Definitely. Okay. Avinash, what about he is a very nice, beautiful, great actor. Yeah, he is a very nice human being. I think he is both. I don't know how many years Actually, TV, I have seen a lot of serial things. I have seen a lot of And I have seen pleasant उसको देख के लगता था इसीलिए इतना लोगों का प्यार मिला कि जिसके अंदर एक डेथ हो जाती है कोई सीरियल में तो वो बहुत था पब्लिक का कह रहे यार कैसे मर गए फिर उसको वापस लेके आए थे तो आप सोचो कि ये इतना बड़ा नाम हो गया तक मुझे एग्जैक्टली अभी सीरियल का नाम नहीं पता है लेकिन मुझे ये मालूम है कि ऐसा हुआ था इनके साथ और इनका नाम था मीर और ये जब फिल्म मैंने बनाई तो मुझे एक ऐसा इंसान चाहिए था जिसका एक ग्रेस हो जो लगे कि हां ठाकुर और वो ठाकुर के खानदान का है कुंवर है और ऐसा भी है कि जो तबू है तबू जैसी एक्ट्रेस हैं उनके हस्बैंड हैं तो मैंने काफी सोचा और फिर मुझे लगा कि यार अमर जो है ही विल बी फैंटास्टिक फॉर दिस लेकिन मुझे अजीब लग रहा था बोलते हुए इसलिए कि पूरी फिल्म में है वो लेकिन जितना बड़ा रोल उन्हें ऑफर करना चाहिए था एक्चुअली वो उतना बड़ा रोल नहीं था लेकिन जब मैं इनको मिला तो उनका जो है मेरे से भी बड़ा प्यार है बोले नहीं नहीं इसमें मैं करूंगा क्योंकि मुझे ये मालूम था कि भाई इसमें बहुत सारे दिनों की जरूरत होगी 40 50 60 दिन की जरूरत होगी उनकी एंड आपको मैं बताऊं कि इट वाज अ फैंटास्टिक एक्सपीरियंस टू वर्क विद अमर के शूटिंग जो है वो जब ही भी हुई है एंड चाहे वो बिजी है नहीं है टाउन में है कहीं शूटिंग हैदराबाद कर रहे हैं मद्रास कर रहे हैं बट समहाउ डायरेक्टली डायरेक्ट बात होती है इजी और बोलते थे नहीं नहीं मैं काम करता हूं चलो मैं प्लान करता हूं मैं आ जाता हूं एंड फिल्म के लिए बहुत कुछ किया है उसने एंड आई एम सो हैप्पी कि मुझे मौका मिला अपना अमर जैसे इंसान के साथ इतने नजदीक से उसको मिलने का देखने का जैसे जैसे साथ में मिले बैठे सेट पे बातें हुई दोस्ती हुई तो मुझे पता लगा कि यार मैं ये समझता था कि इज अ वेरी नाइस पर्सन लेकिन नहीं वो उससे भी ज्यादा अच्छा इंसान है एंड जो एक्टर है वो भी बहुत प्यारा है इतनी अच्छी तरह से उन्होंने ये रोल किया और इतने खूबसूरत दिखता है ये इंसान बिल्कुल हीरो टाइप बिल्कुल और मेरी सारी दुआएं अमर के साथ तो अमर अगर तुम सुन रहे हो मुझे तो बस यही कहना चाहता हूं कि आई लव यू एंड अल्लाह तुम्हें हमेशा इसी तरह अच्छा इंसान बनाए रखे जहां तक एक्टिंग का ताल्लुक है आ, मैं आप में एवरी डे जो है वो देख रहा हूं इंप्रूवमेंट एंड यू आर नाउ परफेक्ट बहुत अच्छा काम करते हो एंड माय ऑल गुड विशेस आर विद यू ऑल द बेस्ट वाओ अनीस भाई आई मीन दिस इज अमेजिंग अनीस भाई आई थैंक यू सो मच आपने इतने प्यारे-प्यारे शब्द मेरे लिए इस्तेमाल किए मैं आई आई लव यू फॉर दिस और आपने मेरी लाइफ बना दी इतना आई यू आर अ लेजेंड अनीस भाई आपको पता है आप यू आर अ लेजेंड लिविंग लेजेंड और आपके साथ काम करके आ, मैं आपको इतना मान सम्मान देता हूं आप आपका जो आपकी जो एनर्जी है सेट पे वो सारे एक्टर में दिख रही है बुलबुलिया में दिख रही है आप जो कर करके दिखाते हैं जो आपका एक पूरा आपका जो क्लैरिटी है फिल्म को लेकर एक्टरों को लेकर आई मीन इट्स ऑल थैंक्स टू यू और आपका मैं तहे दिल से शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ आपने मुझे बुलबुलिया में चांस दिया मुझे मौका दिया सेकेंड टाइम मौका दिया इट्स माई लाइफ में भी दिया और मैं ये चाहूंगा सर दिल से मेरी इच्छा है कि आपकी हर पिक्चर में कुछ ना कुछ मुझे यूज करिए मुझे मैं आपके लिए हमेशा फ्री हूं थैंक यू सो मच सर लव यू बट दैट्स वेरी स्वीट राइट एंड जस्ट फॉर माय व्यूअर्स आई वांट टू से दिस वाज अनीस बाजमी हु डायरेक्टेड द फिल्म बुलबुलिया एंड मेनी अदर 
ग्रेट फिल्म वेलकम वन टू प्यार तो होना ही था नो एंट्री एंट्री मेनी ऑफ देम मेनी ऑफ पागलपंदी कॉमेडी लाफ राइट बिल्कुल लॉट्स ऑफ फिल्म्स एंड यू नो आई सॉ द फिल्म एंड आई रिव्यूड द फिल्म और मैं रिव्यू में भी मैंने एक लाइन लिखी थी दैट आई रियली फेल्ट अमर उपाध्याय वाज अंडर यूटिलाइज्ड इन द फिल्म डिड यू फील दैट वे एज़ वेल सी एज एन एक्टर आफ्टर बीइंग हियर फॉर सो मेनी इयर्स मुझे तो ऐसा लगा कि यू नो हर एक्टर ऐसा होता है कि ग्रेडी होता है थोड़ा सा कि मेरे को और मिल जाए एक सीन और मिल जाए एक डायलॉग और मिल जाए लेकिन क्या है ना कि एक फिल्म और एक कहानी का अपना एक दायरा होता है एक उसका लिमिट होता है हर कैरेक्टर को लेकर उसकी एक सीमा होती है और किसी को भी कम या ज़्यादा यूज़ कर लेना भी बहुत घातक हो सकता है फिल्म के लिए तो आई थिंक मुझे जो अनीस भाई ने पहले दिन जब मैं मेरी उनसे मुलाकात हुई थी जब उन्होंने मुझे नरेट किया था उस वक्त जो उन्होंने बताया था एग्जैक्टली वही है अच्छा यू नो एग्जैक्टली ना उन्होंने कुछ कम किया बल्कि ज्यादा ही मुझे यूज किया ज्यादा ही किया तो आई हैव नथिंग टू कंप्लेन हाँ मुझे लगा कि मुझे मुझे और भी डायलॉग मिल जाते मुझे और भी कुछ एक आध सीन ऐसा मिल जाता कि मैं लेकिन वो फिर वो फिल्म को लेकर वो सही नहीं होता एंड अ डायरेक्टर लाइक अनीस भाजमी ही नोज जॉब या कि करेक्ट तो इट वॉज ऑन मी वेदर आई शुड डू इट एंड अनीस भाई को आई कैन नेवर से नो आई एम अज फैन ऑफ इज लवली लवली ह्यूमन बींग अमर करेक्ट मी फॉर एम रॉन्ग बट यू वो बॉर्न इन गुजरात ब्रॉट अप इन मलाद देन यू डेट केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड देन यू वेंट टू डू एफ टी आई 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 वॉन्ट नो अबाउट दिस शिफ्ट फ्रॉम इंजीनियरिंग टू एक्टिंग वॉट वॉज दैट मोमेंट वैन यू डिसाइडेड आई वॉन्ट टू बिकम एन एक्टर नो सी अलॉन्ग विद माई इंजीनियरिंग वेन आई पास आउट माई टेंथ स्टैंडर्ड आई हैड गॉन्ट टू सी शूटिंग फॉर एन एट फिल्म वेर आई वॉज कास्टेड इमीजिएटली बिकॉज द एक्टर फ्रॉम द मॉडल फ्रॉम बैंगलोर डेंट रीच ऑन टाइम ही डेंट कम एट ऑल आई डोंट समिंग टू इन इज फैमिली सो दे एक सॉ मी एंड दे लाइक मी एंड दे देख कुछ थोड़ा बहुत चलना फिरना है कुछ एक दो लाइने बोलनी है जो डब हो जाएंगी तो तुम कर पाओगे मैं कोशिश करूँगा तो मेरे से हो गया दे गेमी सब मनी वेरी एक्साइटेड हज़ार रुपये दिए थे तो आई वेरी हैप्पी लॉन्ग बैक दो दिन बुलाया मुझे दो दिन मेरे से काम लिया दैन थोड़ा इंडस्ट्री इज फैंटेस्टिक दैन आई ट्राई टू फाइंड आउट क्या कैसे वहाँ पे यहाँ पे काम होता है कैसे काम मिलता है कैसे कहाँ कहाँ एजेंसीज होती हैं एड एजेंसीज कैसे जाना जाते हैं उनको क्या चाहिए होता है फोटोग्राफ वोटोग्राफ जो भी तो ऑल दैट आई लर्न आई फॉलोड अप आई परस्यूड आई वेंट बिहाइंड दैम कॉल्ड अप हंड्रेड टाइम्स एंड गॉट वर्क कपल ऑफ मंथ डाउन द लाइन यू नो I was in Stardust Academy. Yes. उसका कॉन्टेस्ट हुआ था सोनाली दिव्या सब मेरे साथ थे सबसे यंगेस्ट में था आई जस्ट पास आउट ऑन स्कूल सो आई गो सिलेक्टेड देयर आफ्टर दैट माई पिक्चर सेट कम इन स्टार्टस जया बच्चन अनंत महेंद्र सॉइड देव कॉर्मी फॉर देख बाई देख देव हंटिंग फॉर साहिल चाचू दे कूड फाइंड एनी साहिल चाचू मॉडल्स एक्टर्स सब देख लिए थे देव नॉट अ पर्टिकुलर फेस सो दे फाउंड मी करेक्ट दे कॉल्ड मी अलॉन्ग विथ माई कॉलेज दे स्टार्टेड डूइंग केमिकल आई वॉज एक्टिंग ऑल्सो इन देख भाई देख या इन देख भाई देख सो आई जस्ट अबाउट सिक्सटीन एंड हाफ सेवेंटीन ईयर ओल्ड वेन आई स्टार्टेड माई करियर एक्चुअली एंड दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम करियर वॉज एन देर इन माई माइंड एट आई वॉन्ट टेकअप एक्टिंग एज अ करियर बट स्लोली एंड स्टडली वेन आई पीपल स्टार्ट एड नोइंग मी एंड बिकम अ बेट पॉपुलर इन देख भाई देख एस साहिल दैन दैट्स पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम दैट आई माई पेरेंट्स थॉट कि यू नो ये शायद एक्टिंग ही करेगा आगे तो मुझे लगा कि वाई नॉट तो ऐसी मेरी एक शुरुआत हुई थी टीवी इंडस्ट्री में पर आपने मेंशन किया पहली एड फिल्म में द बैंगलोर मॉडल इन टर्न अप एंड व्हिच इज आई यू गॉट इट आई थिंक सिमिलर हैपेंड ड्यूरिंग क्यूकी साजी के बहुत ही आल्सो देयर वाज अ गाय हु वाज कास्ट एज मीर विरानी फर्स्ट यस एग्जैक्टली समथिंग हैपेंड एंड देन वर्क आउट एंड देन यू स्टेड आई फॉरगेट द नेम ऑफ द गाय हिज नेम सर नेम इज गांधी आई फॉरगेट हिज नेम एक दिन उसका शूट हुआ था आई रिमेंबर द डेट ऑल 7th अप्रैल ऑन जीतू जी का बर्थडे वाओ हां उसका शूट हुआ था लॉन्च हुआ था शो हां और टेंथ को मेरा शूट हुआ था तीन दिन बाद अच्छा क्योंकि उसका कुछ प्रॉब्लम हो गया था उसे वो चला गया हाँ. तो दे वर अगेन हंटिंग फॉर मिहिर सो आई हैड गॉन अलोंग विद अदर टीवी एक्टर्स यू नो हु आर पॉपुलर नाउ सो आई वाज द फर्स्ट चॉइस आफ्टर दैट एंड दे गेव मी द रोल आई गेव द स्क्रीन टेस्ट इमीजिएटली वॉज अप्रूव्ड so it was so, destiny you were destined to take up that yeah, i think so yeah. god has been kind yeah. but you know of course kupi sasbi ko bahut hi was massive it is still remembered the show is i think rerunning now again Correct, on, on star Sabre plus Sabre. are you seeing it i saw initially for a couple of weeks huh. and i had other commitments sure Couldn't but be. i think the massive step was when you left the show and i really want to even hindsight i want to say it was somebody needs guts to do it and uh, it wasn't easy i want to ask you today when you go back and look at it was it a risk or a calculated risk See uh, I am not from film film industry I yeah. I my father also
there are people who advise you there are people who tell you but but there are but there were so many of them around me <laughs> with different opinions yeah so i to ultimately decide what i should do yeah when i was doing kyunki and when me here died it became popular it became major it became a cult show there were protests to get you absolutely back. all that thing happened majorly everybody knows that so lot of film producers came to me yeah lots of them ultimately when i started my journey i wanted to be a film actor yeah i mean very honest and brutal because that's the that's the truth and every other tv actor wants mm. to be a film actor mm. okay very few come out and accept it yeah of correct course. i'm telling you that ha huh. but i always accepted and uh, i never gave up also yeah i'm still trying so that point of time many producers came to me i signed up randomly four five films hmm there were 10 12 projects offered to me i could only take up few of them correct uh because i was doing mehendi tere naam ki that point of time arun hmm. arani show on ztv was number one show yeah. on ztv yeah. i was doing colors for balaji number one uh, one hour weekly show on star plus and there was of course kyunki number one show daily soap yeah So these three shows, I was playing the lead in them. Plus, I had out of five, six films, three films on the floor. Hmm. So, so there was too much on my plate. Yeah. It was spilling out actually. Yeah. It was so much, and I was going mad handling dates. I couldn't. I couldn't uh, handle dates because it was a lot of hotchpotch thing happened because very very dates because I didn't know what to do, how yeah. to handle it. Uh, there was TV commitments were huge. Yeah. TV itself was taking about twenty. 25 days of mine because there were films in coming in between yeah i had to go to shimla to shoot loc i had to go to uh, hyderabad to shoot baba ram ji yeah. then mumbai schedule of dhun the fog and there were 13 b on the line lot of yeah. other films so i kind of little messed up and did did things because i couldn't handle it my uh, you handling I, it all I, by I yourself yeah i didn't have a manager that point of time who, huh, who could okay. do that because i didn't believe in that concept huh. but wish i had one so there were a lot of uh opinions coming from people mm. from my film producers from my tv producers you should do this you should do this you should do this ultimately uh it so happened that all my tv producers said uh, we can't handle this yeah and i was in i was in such a stage with films that i couldn't leave them or i couldn't you know uh do them without leaving the show mm-hmm. you know so i had to take a decision and i had to leave tv because in films it was difficult to leave and it was not fair to the film producers because you know they can't replace me mm. the film is a definite 2 to 1/2 hour story yeah tv is continuous you know you can Correct. send me somewhere abroad maybe yeah. some accident happened like earlier happened with me here <laughs> yeah. and maybe i can come back later i suggested yeah. that also to my producers yeah. but they were not ready to do that also so yeah. ultimately we had to take a decision that i can't do it anymore sure but in hindsight you regret the decision today because no. so much happened you were always in the papers because of your fall out with ekta kapoor see yeah, i always scored bachchan saab scored jo apne man ka ho to acha aur na ho to aur bhi acha upar wale ke man ka hota hai hmm. yeah but it is time to be like this yeah you know then i think who am i to complain yeah. this is way it was set yeah you know it was set happily. but do you remember at that point i had you sat with ekta and tried to sort it out yeah or I mean, was it all media created it was more of a media creation to be honest to really? you um, um you know then indra kumar came for 8 uh, 9 months mm. he was a he was me he left it himself yeah, yeah. ekta never told him to go uh, i don't know what reasons he had mm. then he, when he left she came back to me again but at that point of time i was still shooting my films you know i was still um not ready for that because i thought if i go back again there will be still date problems yeah unless and i told her give me three four months more when she was not ready to wait without me she wanted me here badly yeah and then that's when she approached uh, ronit who was yes. already doing bajaj correct for kasauti uh, zindagi ke kasauti hmm. so she is a boss and she owns the show correct uh, so it's her decision and, and she is she is she is right yeah. what she did yeah completely but all okay with her now yeah absolutely i did mulki for her correct even after that in 2005 uh, i left in 2003 hmm. 2005 i did kasauti zindagi ki kuzo man all that shows with her yeah. two three shows as a cameo yeah. just to uh, tell the world that we are okay here do you think tv is limited see you know what tv um, they start off with a different kind of a story and different ah. but it ultimately ends up into what usually they show you know they can't experiment much unlike ott i'm so glad you're saying this not many actors say you're right no, it's a fact because ott i tell you is challenge tv ha huh. the if you google it just now and see 
TV was growing at 18 to 20 percent a year before OTT, uh, before lockdown. Yeah, yeah. So OTT really grew. Yeah. In lockdown, OTT grew at 20 percent, and TV is, is growing today at 10 to 12 percent. Yeah. That goes to say your content. Content yeah. is king, Correct. ultimately. And TV, you can't experiment much because channels, though they might have, might be wanting to experiment, they yeah. can't experiment because yeah. audience doesn't want to want to change. Yeah, that's one of my questions actually. You know, we say TV is rather grown but audience is also to see, be audience also it, is, right? is not changing. See, if you see, it's a TRB war. Seven hmm. thirty slot is in the Seven thirty is my slot. Hai, star will say. Eight thirty is mine. Colors will say. Z will say. Baki two are mine. See, this is a channel with TRB wars. If any of the channel wants to experiment in hmm. any slot, it's a big risk. Yeah. If the TRB doesn't come by experimenting, they lose the revenue. To be honest, and if they lose the revenue, they lose everything. It's business. So this is business. So why not? Hmm. Since two thousand corporates have come in, it's become a big business. So experimentation in TV happened before two thousand. Yeah, yeah. You see, day by day, can so, so many of them. And so Directors many. had a say. Yeah, yeah. Directors call like the said. shot. Yeah. Writers call the shot. Yeah. At the moment, somebody else calls the shot. <laughs> and I'm happy with that. That's okay. That's business. Correct. If anybody puts the money, he has a right to call the shots. Hmm. So that's also right. It's not. It's, it's not wrong. But things have changed. Yeah. yeah a lot. Yeah. It depends. Ki humko ye product kahan launch karna hai. Humko hmm. UP mein launch karna hai. To ek UP wala show leke ho. Hmm. Humko abhi is baar Rajasthan mein launch karna hai. To ek Rajasthani background pe show leke ho. Hmm. To ye ho gaya abhi. Kafi hmm. kuch. Us had tak chala gaya. The content is and should be the king. Where I believe. Michael Jordan once said, "Key to success is failures." What did you learn from yours? Very true. But when you fall, you learn to fall. Correct. Right? So you have to fall to rise. Yeah. What are your learnings from your failures? See, every day is a learning experience in this industry because it's such an insecure place. I told you earlier. Here, hmm. every Friday, you have to decide who the actor is. So, in such an insecure industry, mein, you have to be strong inside, mentally, physically, yeah. emotionally. You have to be ready to uh, take failures in your stride, hmm. learn from them, and grow. Yeah. You know, you have to calculate, evaluate at every point of time. Can now, what, what is my priority? Hmm. Your son Arman wants to become an actor. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> what Once. was the first thought when he came to you and said, "Papa, I want to become an actor"? I wasn't surprised because uh, as a child he's done ads. You know, as Haan. a child he's done very famous ads, the Surf Excel and this and that. A lot, of, a lot of stuff he's done Haan. with Dhoni and everybody is acting. So when he grew up and he wanted to be an actor, I was not surprised. I knew he would do it Haan. because uh, ad film uh, he got by chance. He, he went for a screen test and he got it. And somebody said, "Isko bejo screen test mein." So my wife took him and he got the ad. Then he then somebody saw him in that ad. They called up my wife again and said, "Isko isme dena hai." Dhoni ke saath chaman prash karna hai. So wahan bhej diya usko. Then two four more ad kar liye usne uh, HP or yeah, this and that. Lot of other ads he did. There were ten twelve ads and then. Then I had, I knew that time that if you are big, you will see ads. He said, "I want to be an actor." Okay, yeah. That's what he. That's what happened. Yeah. A year or two back, he told me I want to be an actor. Then I told him, "Why not?" Sure. Baap hai toh bhi banega hi. You never know. <laughs> sure, but he. I mean, you've seen everything in the business. Yeah. Does did, does it worry you? Okay, yar, kuch aur achha thora stable kar lo. See, I I believe nothing wrong hmm. because you know if you have that will, if you have that. Uh, Power emotionally is strong, and if you know the craft, yeah. If you want to be an actor, you got to learn that craft. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you got to be aware that what you're doing hmm. in life, where you're going. So if you learn properly, if you if you have a talent in you, and if you, if you nurture the talent and become a good actor uh, or somewhere near that, then I think you have a long career. Yeah. Okay. So I told him to uh, not get into madness of doing a film immediately or. Or don't fix a time frame for yourself, mm. but fix a time frame for yourself to learn the craft. Yeah. That this many years I'll do stage. Mm. This many years I'll do stage. This many years I'll uh, do my diction classes or my uh, dialogue delivery classes or uh, action and dance and whatever. Yeah. You got to do that, and, and without doing stage, I I don't think you should enter the industry. Yeah. So uh, right now he is learning. Um, mm. Acting on stage, oh, he so yeah, he started wow. that on his own. He found out some some guru of his, and he's going there. So he's still young, very young. He has about four five years to learn. Yeah, and it's a long time, and maybe he might do a couple of plays, and I might see him uh, have good potential in him. Then I might tell him to do a film. But by the time he, at the moment, he has to just learn. 
Sure. Yeah. But he has an experienced father to guide him, so I'm sure he'll do well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, I am there behind him because I had no one. Yeah. I had to learn from my own mistakes yeah. or my uh, whatever came my way. I had to uh, pick and choose from that itself. Maybe some things were wrong, some things were right, some things were uh, not meant to be, but I did it. And uh, but I think for him, I'm there. Yeah. And uh, we have a very healthy relation. We talk a lot. Mm. Okay, we talk like friends, both of us. And I'm sure he'll come and tell me things that he is confused about in life. Mm. So I am not there to, uh, you know, completely tell him what to do and you have to do this. I'll leave him on his own. I'll be looking at him mm. behind him, standing behind him, that what he does. And I'm there to guide, guide him completely. And that's not a problem. Sure, he'll do well, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, I think the toughest point for you in your life has been when you lost your mother. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, my mother was the biggest uh, strength that I think uh, she was the one who supported me completely when um, everybody was against me, my family, my grandfather, everybody. My mother uh, believed in me that you know I could do it. Okay, so I could be an actor. I could grow into be a nice actor. Uh, moms are nice. <laughs> they always love, love you. So yeah, unconditional love. So I think uh, when she ex she was no more, it was a big jhatka for me. I was shooting for a film in Manali and when I got the news and I had to leave immediately from uh, that shoot. I was shooting for Baba Ramji film mm -hmm. and uh, I came to know at 1 o'clock in the night, my brother called me and after that, that whole journey that I took at 1 in the night, 1.30 in the night from Manali to Chandigarh, Chandigarh was completely fogged out, flights were all cancelled. And then I had to take that same car and go to Delhi where my friend was standing with the boarding pass and then I had to fly down. It was quite a torture journey because I, I think I, I completely lost my biggest support system of my life. And uh, after that I was completely broken. I was, I had lost uh, about 10, 8, 8, 10 kgs in 10 days. Really? Yeah, with depression. And uh, I refused that one time. I said no to about 6, 7 film offers also in that one, two months. I didn't want to work. I didn't want to. So there was a little very bad phase, uh, but after that I came out of it. Uh, thanks to my wife and everybody else, um, it was a, uh, again I bounced back with Aruna. Ji called me. She came and met me. She offered me her serial, uh, and then I started working, and I was back. People say you move on. You don't really move on, right? No. How can you? Because there are roots. Hmm. You think your roots have been cut, yeah. when your parents go. You know your roots have been cut. You feel like that, and you feel like shaken completely. And this happens, nobody actually, you know, overcomes your parents, uh, that's, you know, you don't. So, yeah, so I think uh, <clears throat> we, if you have your wife, your kids, you know, you have a support system mm -hmm. where you can lean on them and carry forward, you know, you look at them and you, but ultimately, there's something is permanently gone from your life. You cannot yeah. get that. So that feeling is always there. Yeah. Yeah. What's your state of mind right now, Amar? I'm very happy, in a very happy zone today. Um, after Molki, after Bulbulaya. Touch wood, God has been kind to me. Yeah. I feel like with Bulbulay releasing and doing very well, I feel like I've just started on a new journey. Yeah. What I wanted when I started when I was 16 and a half, 29 years back, mm. I see that it might happen now. You do see that? I see it happening now slowly. Maybe slowly, mm. but it's happening. And with my experience, I'm going to grab it properly. Yeah. And pull it completely towards me. Yeah. Because that point of time, Amar wasn't experienced as an actor, as a person. But now I think I am pretty much. Yeah. I'm sure I am. Uh, and I would mm, want to do more good films with good directors and do good work. And uh, regardless of the size of the role. Yeah. I think when Rajpal Yadav was a good friend of mine, when he can, you know, um, do one scene and you know people Kill it. yeah he ah. did about eight ten movies with one one scenes and yeah. and that guy today is a huge guy huge yeah. star yeah a wonderful person wonderful actor then I think everybody can do it you know? yeah are offers uh, there are there are there are there are offers uh, maybe the coming month I'm going to sign them and uh, the big directors wow yeah of course Anish Bhai is next also I'm <laughs> I will be there. So he promised me. He's he promised did? me. Yeah, he's promised me. Okay, next one I'm going to give you a bigger and role that you will love. So let's see. There are a few few films in the pipeline. Yeah. So let's see. 
I wish that happens and I wish all of that happens. Thank yeah. you so much, Amar. This was a pleasure. lovely conversation. Absolutely. Thank you so much. My Thank pleasure. You. Hi, this is Amar Upadhyaya. Yeah. If you like this conversation, then please do like, share and subscribe. Pink Villa.